In today's video, I'm going to be comparing these two potty chairs that my four-year-old son personally used, let you know which one he actually enjoyed, why he didn't like the other one, and the cool features that each one has. I've got these linked in the description if you like one. I will make a small commission, just to be honest, but that's not why I'm doing this video. My son went through like four potty chairs, and he has a ring that sits on the toilet now that we had from before and he finally got to where he would use that on the toilet but we had my daughter's old potty chair we had bought this one and then we ended up having to buy this one which this one i thought he was going to want from the very beginning but with it being thirty dollars my wife wanted to try and buy something else to see if you know it's potty training he uses it a couple of weeks and then well, I'll tell you, the $30 we invested in this was worth it, especially considering we spent like 60, 70 all together with the other ones. There's nothing really wrong with them. It was just his preference. My daughter had the other ones and used them just fine. This one is a parent's choice. It is a basic one, but there's a cool feature to it. When they wet this with warm liquid, it actually changes color. So you can tell they did it or to, you know, I guess to indicate to them, hey, you did a good job. You can take it out, dump it, and it's pretty sturdy. I mean, it's not some flimsy thing. I mean, they can sit on it without having to worry. And then the other feature it has is this one does come off and go on the toilet. So if he did like it, he would have been able to use this to put on the toilet and use it permanently. I mean, it's got a pretty solid back to it. The peak spout thing, you know, the, the splash guard isn't ideal in my opinion because it kind of doesn't make it go down into the toilet. So that was this one and how I felt. And I don't, maybe he couldn't sit on it right, maybe he just didn't like it, I'm not sure. Now this one on the other hand, he enjoyed. It was like a regular potty chair or a regular toilet, sorry. Um, and there's a there's a cool little feature he liked but before we get there this has the ability to hold wipes or little trinkets for them to play with or whatever this can come off for you to store extra stuff it has the typical flip up thing and then this can be dumped now I was reading that this is supposed to come off and go on your toilet. He never tried that because he has a padded ring. I, I would imagine that it would work. I mean, it has a ring to it, so that's probably what it's for. Now here's the part that he liked the best. After he was done, even though it doesn't flush, he could flush it. There are three different models of this made by Summer. This is one, well, I mean, there's more models there was a bunch of different colors. One of the listings I have has a bunch of variants. But as far as function, I found three of them that were in this kind of range. It has this one, then it has one that has lights and sound that has some soothing, relaxing things so they can do their boo-boo. And it also has a urinal version. Now my brother has one for his boys. I know his boys love that one. And I'm not sure if it was a summer brand, but they have a urinal and knowing how much my nephews like that one, I could imagine it actually being, you know, pretty productive and, and helpful. They both have great features. It, depending on how your kid responds, there's nothing wrong with either of these that I can find. Other than this one might be a little hard, you know, for the kids, which could have been his problem or something like that. I mean, it's 12 bucks at Walmart. I couldn't find an Amazon listing for this one, so you're going to have to go to the Walmart link. But this one, I'm going to link this, the other one, and the urinal version. Give them a try. Like I said, I will make a commission. And if you like these videos, YouTube's got one for you to try right here that I made. 